Sometimes you have to balance an entire skeleton reaction. Sometimes you have to balance just a half reaction. And if you are doing an entire one, well, you're going to have to make up your own half reactions anyway. So let's take a look at a couple of examples here of a basic and acidic solution where we're just worrying about balancing the half reactions. We're not going to combine these two. Okay, so I have two examples here. We've got number one, X2 random substance turning into XO3. Now first off, these are skeleton reactions. Now they're skeleton half reactions, but same, same idea. That means you have both reactants and products. As soon as you see that, do not use your data table. Okay, You have to make up your own half reaction. All right, first thing we're going to do, and this is regardless if it's a half reaction or a full reaction, is you're going to balance all atoms other than over H. Okay, balance all atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen. Okay, so for example one, that's going to give us a two here. Example two will also give us a two there. You know, that doesn't always come into play, but you must check for it. It's a really easy place to make a mistake. Okay, next thing we're going to do, and this is the way I'm doing it. There are multiple ways of doing this in the textbook and learning guide. I'm going to show you how I like to do it, which is in your learning guide. Next thing is I'm going to determine my oxidation numbers. All right, so we've got pure element X2, uh, 0, and this X works out to be plus 4. Down here, the, the chromium works out to be plus 6, and the other chromium is given as a plus 3. All right, so I've determined my oxidation numbers. Why do that? Well, that allows me to figure out my electron loss and gain. Okay, so. I'm going from 0 to plus 4 for that example. In this example, I'm going from plus 6 to plus 3. Now keep in mind, these are different. They're not, we're not combining these right now. So in example 1, 0 to plus 4, that's a loss. So a loss of electrons or oxidation of 4 electrons per x. Okay? But there are two X's. That's why you got to make sure you balance the non-O's and H's. There are two X's involved in this half reaction, which means I've got a total loss of eight electrons. Okay, and that would be for the whole X2 compound or X2 going to X2 XO3, however you want to indicate it. But it's a it's a complete loss of eight. So we've got eight electron loss. All right. Let's look at the other one. We have plus 6 to a plus 3. Well, I'm getting more negative. That means I have a gain of electrons. 3 electrons per CR, but there are two CRs involved. So that's 6 electrons overall for the whole entire half reaction coming from CR207. Okay, again, very important when you're dealing with these half reactions or net reactions, you're working with the entire electron uh, loss or gain. Okay, so the gain of six, so six electrons would be over here. Okay, so. Next thing I'm gonna do, once I've determined my electron loss and gain, is balance out my electrons. Okay, so now these steps are going to apply to both half reactions and net reactions. The nice thing is if you're dealing with a half reaction, well the electrons are already balanced because there's really no balancing you have to do. Okay, so this step is just for full reactions and you'll see that on another video. 
basically for full reactions only. So we get to skip that one. Next thing we're going to do is balance my charge. Now that depends whether you are in an acidic solution or a basic solution. Okay, and the way I'm doing it, um, no difference between whether you're in acid or base, other than the fact it's H or OH. Uh, with the book, there's a few extra steps if you're in base. They both work fine. I just prefer this way. It's a little more efficient. The final step will be balancing atoms out by incorporating water. In a little different order than the book does it, but it all gets the same job done. So we've worked with the electrons already. Now I'm going to work with the charge. When I am balancing charge, I want to make sure the sum of my products, okay, so when we're dealing with charge, the sum of my products equals the sum of my reactants, or vice versa. So and that, when you're doing that, you have must take into account all the charges that are given, not ones you figured out, the charges that are given, incorporating the coefficients as well. So in example one, if I look at my, so in example one, if I look at my products, I have, let's make this, clean this up a bit here. I've got two XO3s for a total of negative four plus negative eight for my electrons. So right now my product charge is negative 12, six, sorry, negative 14. Okay, I've got negative four plus negative eight. Sorry, bad math. Negative 12, and then on my reactant side, I've got zero. Well, that doesn't equal each other. So, since I'm in base, okay, the question said, number one says I'm in basic solution, that means I'm going to put as many OH negatives wherever I need to make that charge equal. So in that case, that's going to be over here. Okay, the charge is zero on my reactants, so I'm going to have to put 12 OHs, like so. Okay, so now, the charge is now balanced. Now I've got to work with my atoms. Well, I need, i sorry, I have 12 H's on my reactants and none on my product side. So that means I'm going to have to add 6 water to my product side in order to balance that out. Okay, and that makes sense. It's what my H is now balanced. I have 12 O's on my reactants. I have 12 O's on my products now. So this is a perfectly balanced half reaction. Okay, with the acidic one, working with the working with the charge again. Hopefully my math will be better this time. On my reactants, I have negative six and negative two for negative eight. And on the products, I have a plus six charge. Well, this time I'm in an acid, which means I have to add H pluses. Okay, so for my reactants, I'm at negative eight, so I want to put 14 H pluses over here to bring that value up to plus six. Okay, um, the way I have this might be, a, I might rather go reactants equals products, might simplify things a little bit doesn't really matter. Um, so now my charge is balanced. Now to balance out my atoms, same thing. I figure out, well, I've got 14 H's here. I don't have any on the other side. So it's going to be correspond to seven waters. Then you check your O's, seven O's from dichromate, seven from water, and they balance out. So now this is done as well. Okay, so those are two balanced half reactions.